Okay, so here I am in Adobe Acrobat. I have my PDF resource pulled up and I'm going to share this with my student and I'm going to go over using the um, annotation feature. So I'm gonna hover over here and click on this right here um, so I can go ahead and share my screen and I'm going to select the window that I want to share, click on it and click share. Um, there are some shortcuts I wanted to mention as well um, that you can use depending on whether you're on a Mac or Windows computer as well. So if you want to learn those, um, those are within Zoom, but I do not have those memorized. So I uh, just go ahead and click on the share screen. So here we are. And um, what we're going to do now is we are going to go up here and we are going to hover. Now we are going to click on this little pencil here which is the annotation feature. And you can see here, there's a lot of different um, options that we can use while we are sharing our screen. Um, you know, you can also give remote access to your student. If you feel like your student would be, um, it would be appropriate for them to be annotating. Um, so what we can do here is we can use actual text so we we can click on the um, text right here and then we can make um, a text box now you notice with this picture right here um, the the background is a little bit dark so um, that you know that's just something to consider so we can have the student you know kind of describe what they see or you can have them write a caption um, just depending on the level that your student's functioning. So let's go ahead and just write, I see a dog. Okay. Um, and then this actually showed up pretty well because it was red. So you can have, you know, an actual um, text inserted there, or you could do um, drawing. You can pick your line here. Um, you know, you can change your color right here under format. And so we can draw like a little caption like this, and then you can have them. And, um, you know, if you wanted to change, you can go over here to draw. If you wanted to do a thinner line, oh, I'm sorry. That's a regular line. Let me try that again. <laughs> um, here's the thinner line. So we could have them write something that, um, you know, they think that the dog is thinking or saying. And that is really it. Um, you know, I just wanted to show you how you can actually draw. Um, you know, you could have them circle, maybe circle the eyes or put an X on the nose. So, you know, great for following directions. But, um, you know, that just kind of goes through and shows you how you can use the text. You can use the drawing. Um, you can use highlighting. Uh, and then, you know, you can work on following directions. So there's a lot of possibilities when using the annotation feature. And then of course there's the eraser. So they can go in and erase if, um, they make a mistake or if you just want to clear the page. Um, and there are also, I want to show there are stamps, which for this page, it doesn't necessarily make um, sense, but say you were getting creative and you were trying to make this work for articulation as well. Um, say you were doing the R sound. So let's give this dog a name Rover. Um, so I see Rover and then your student um, using the stamp here, let's say they chose the heart, could stamp after each time they said their speech sound um, in a sentence. So um, that's, that's kind of a cool thing too. Sometimes if you have a no prep worksheet that has little boxes or little circles, then these stamps are a lot of fun to use for those as well. Um, so there's just a lot of possibilities with the annotation feature. It's a lot of fun and, um, there's a lot of different ways that you can use it.